Hey y'all. How y'all doing? <laughs> I'm sorry if I was looking at the camera crazy, but my share screen was on y'all, so I couldn't see y'all. I couldn't see y'all right then. So I just wanted to come on and um hey everybody, hey everybody, good afternoon, good afternoon, good afternoon, good afternoon. Y'all come on in this afternoon and share and tag and invite some people this afternoon. I just wanted to come and just give y'all a quick live word this afternoon. Something that God has just been putting in my spirit lately. He's actually been putting a lot of different things in my spirit lately. He's been putting a lot of things in my spirit. And did you happen to be one of them? So I just wanted to talk to y'all about forgiveness. Talk to you about forgiveness and to let you know that if you at a place in your life where it feel like everything is being held up, like if y'all, if you, if you ever been in a situation where it seemed like, you know, you can make progress, you know what I'm saying? You may take a step here and there. Everybody's coming in, y'all share, share and tag and invite some people. Uh, I know mostly everybody will see this on the replay because I didn't let anybody know that I was going live. It was just random. But, um, I want y'all to be thinking. I want y'all to be. I want y'all to be. Um, y'all excuse me. I'm trying to. Let, I'm trying to read messages and talk. So let me stop trying to read the messages that's come across the top of my screen. <laughs> y'all know how you start reading messages. They come across the top of your screen and you talking and you start saying what the message say instead of you. <laughs> instead of you giving what your message say. So let me get focused on what the message that God told me to say. This is what God is saying. God is saying that when you forgive, that's when everything is going to open up for you. When you forgive people, when you let stuff go, when you get rid of all this unforgiveness out your heart, that's when the doors are going to start flying open for you. Opportunities that never that you could never get in the beginning, um just just answers that you couldn't get before y'all some of y'all been praying prayers for a long time you ain't been able to get these prayers answered it seemed like god is silent it seemed like god is quiet it seemed like god ain't just really talking to you like that i want to tell you god is talking to you he talking but a lot of times we can just be so burdened down with all this unforgiveness and all this pain from our past and all this all this childhood hurt and this childhood trauma. Y'all know that childhood hurt ain't no joke, baby. That childhood trauma. Some of y'all been abused. Some of y'all been molested. Some of y'all been, you know, you just been mishandled. You you know, people that were supposed to be there for you. People that were supposed to love you. And people that were supposed to protect you. They dropped the ball. They didn't protect you. And something bad happened to you. Something horrific happened to you. A lot of y'all got testimonies. Y'all got stories. And everybody that's coming in, I want y'all to share. Make sure you share. Because there's a lot of people out there that got stories. They got testimonies. And when you hear these people's story, baby, you be like, oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. I had no idea that you went through that. You know, or you may hear somebody's story and you just be like, oh, my goodness. That is that is horrible. Glory be to God. Thank God that you made it out of that. You know what I'm saying? So that's just to let you know that people are really going through it. People are really going through it. And I'm going to tell y'all, you got to forgive. It does not matter how bad the situation was. don't matter what they did to you. You got to forgive these people. And y'all know we done heard people say it over and over and over again that forgiveness is not for you. I'm sorry, forgiveness is not for the other people, but it's for you. And that's true. I know that's cliche and we done heard that so many times, but that's true. Forgiveness is not for the other people. It ain't got nothing to do with them. You probably feel like, I don't want to forgive them because, you know what I'm saying, it, it just, I just can't get over it. I just can't let it go. But it ain't got nothing to do with them. It's all about you. It's all about you. Because if you want to if you want to move forward in your life, if you want to get the things of God, if you want to be successful, if you want to be a great person, if you want to, to live that abundant life that Jesus promised you, because Jesus said in the word, he said, I come that you might have life. And that you might have it more abundantly. But there's a prerequisite to that abundant life. I'm teaching a little bit today, y'all. There's a prerequisite to that abundant life. In order for you to get that abundant life, you first got to forgive these people that didn't hurt you. Oh, you think you're going to be able to walk into the promised land with all that unforgiveness in your heart. And I'm going to tell y'all something. I'm going to break this thing down like Sharika say. I'm going to break it down like that M16. Women 
are really bad at holding on to unforgiveness. Y'all can say what y'all want to say, but a woman will hold on to some 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 hurt in her heart until the day she die. You literally have to claw that hurt out of her. And she still be holding on to what that woman did to her or what that woman said about her or how that woman took her man or how that or how they did this or how they did that. Y'all know how women are. Women can be catty and women but let me tell y'all something. A true queen don't hold unforgiveness in her heart. She don't, she, cause she realized that unforgiveness, let me tell y'all, people that walking around with unforgiveness, those are people that don't know nothing about their purpose. They don't know nothing about their purpose. Cause if you was in your purpose, you would know that y y purpose takes all of you. Purpose takes every ounce of your being. It takes every ounce of your being to walk in your purpose, to operate in your purpose. It, it takes all of you. So when you in your purpose, it's taking so much of you. It's taking so much of you that you ain't got nothing left for nobody else. That's And that's the way I be. I be so consumed in what I'm doing. It's like, yeah, I know people talking. You know what I'm saying? I know people mad. I know people upset. I know people... Um, you know, are not happy with what I'm doing or what I got going on, but I ain't worried about that. I'm too busy helping people. Come on, somebody. I'm too busy trying to save somebody. I'm too busy. I'm too busy going into devil territory, snatching God, folks bite. I got people that I got to save. I came here to do a work for God. I ain't come to make no friends and I ain't come to walk on eggshells. And that's the way y'all got to be. You came to do a work for God. You ain't here to plead nobody. You ain't here to walk on eggshells for nobody. Forget these folks. Forget these folk. And when I say forget these folk, I mean forgive them. Love them. Do what you can for them. And don't let these folk stop you. Don't let these folk stop you. A lot of y'all, God done called y'all to do different kind of things. God done told y'all. He done gave y'all the title now. Y'all share this live. Because God done gave y'all the title. God done told y'all who y'all is. But you scared to say it. You don't want to come out with it. Because you too scared somebody from your past going to come back up and say something. You too scared somebody going to have to forget these folks, baby. Do what God told you to do. If God told you you was a CEO, I better hear you say I am a CEO. I am a successful CEO. You might not have nobody company. But the Bible said call those things that be not as though they were. And God going to do the rest. If you keep speaking it and you keep putting yourself around people that speaking it to you also, don't be going around these folks talking about you ain't going to do nothing. You ain't going to be nothing. You know, I, some of these folks just negative. They just negative. They negative Nancy and negative Nathan. <laughs> Y'all know I'm telling the truth. These folks negative Nancy and negative Nathan. Y'all put that in the comments. Stay away from negative Nancy and negative Nathan. Don't come over here and buy devil with your ugly self. Don't you come over here, Nancy. Uh-uh, don't you call my phone. You ain't never got nothing good to say about nobody. Come on now. Uh-uh, man, don't you come calling my phone. Uh-uh, don't you come texting me. You ain't never got nothing good to talk about. Everything all the way, you're complaining. If it ain't one thing, it's another. You just negative. Why you think you in a mess? Because you keep speaking curses over yourself. The Bible said, I, I put before you this day blessings and curses, life and death. You choose. You choose by what's coming out of your mouth. So we have to be careful about what's coming out of our mouth. We got to be careful. And we got to be careful not to put ourselves around people that going to tear us down. I'm going to tell y'all something. You got to put yourself around people that look like the folks that where you going, not the folks where you came from. You don't need to be hanging around the folks that look like where you came from because you know you went through hell to get away from that. Y'all know I'm telling the truth now. You know you cried all night long. You 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 drinking tears for water. You snotty, foaming at the mouth, all that stuff. You had to go through all that. Some of y'all had to crawl your way out of these situations. So you tell me you did all that. You went through all that just to hook up with some more folks that look like the folks that you came from. The devil is a lie. I went through too much. I don't know about y'all, but I went through too much to get to where I am. I got a whole lot more to go. But I'm not finna hook up with nobody that gonna pull me by where I came from. Come on now. Come on now. We talking about forgiveness. We on time. Y'all share this live. I ain't gonna be on long, but y'all share this live. Cause we on time with it. <laughs> Somebody said we on time with it, baby. We on time with it now. Forgive. And, and don't let nobody hold you back. Cause I'm gonna tell y'all. You gotta forgive the people that didn't even ask for your forgiveness. You gotta let go of the people that... 
still trying to hold on to you. DP, some of these folks are still trying to be relevant in your life. They not even relevant to what you got going on no more. They still trying to hold on to an old version of you. You ain't even that person no more. Come on now. You ain't even that woman no more. You're not even that woman that used to sit around and smoke all day and drink all day and do it. You're not that woman no more. Why are you still trying to hang around the folk that's still doing that? You got you to gotta seek to make a difference. But you can't make a difference until you make a decision. I heard, I think it was E.T. say that. You can't make a difference until you make a decision. When you make a decision, that's when something shifts for you. When you make a decision, that's when something change for you. See, longer we sit on that porch up there on that corner or sit on that porch over there in them projects and get up every day and have barbecues. I'm telling y'all some real stuff. Get up every day and have barbecues and pile up at one another house and stuff. That ain't living, baby. That is not living and that is not purpose. You Them folks that do stuff like that, they're going to be doing it for the rest of their life. You can look them up 15 years from now. They still going to be over there sitting on such and such porch. Still over there talking about what y'all cook today, scratching their belly, coming over four highs, looking in four refrigerators, talking about what y'all cook today. That ain't no way to live. Come on now. God said I put you down here to rule, subdue, and have dominion. You supposed to be dominating all over this thing, baby. You supposed to be making all kind of moves. The devil ought to be scared to see you coming. Come on now. But we getting up every day. Y'all laughing. Y'all know I'm telling the truth. <laughs> Y'all know I'm telling the truth, these folks. Put these folks out your high. Tell these folks, baby, I'm about my father's business. Don't be coming over here talking about what I cook, looking in my refrigerator, scratching your belly. I ain't got nothing. <laughs> I ain't got nothing, beloved. Don't be coming over here talking about what I cook, because I ain't cook nothing. You, what, what, what you cook? What you cook? Go home and cook your own food. Y'all tell them that. <laughs> Go home and cook your own food. Come on now. But imagine what kind of world it would be if everybody was in their purpose, y'all. Imagine what kind of world it would be if everybody was about their father's business, if everybody was operating in their gifts, if everybody, come and tell, I'm going to tell y'all, we think that it ain't no room for us. And I see women doing this a lot. Women be trying to cat and claw at other women. Women hate to see other women gifted. I'm telling y'all some real stuff. They hate to see other women gifted. And they think when they see another woman coming up, they got to run a little bit faster. Or they got to throw dirt, throw, throw smoke on her, or throw something on her to try to knock her out the way. You ain't got to do none of that. You got to understand that God done created a lane for you to dominate in. What them folk doing over there in their lane ain't got nothing to do with you. See, you holding all that unforgiveness in your heart, and you mad at these folks. Some, some folks are just pure down, just mad at people because they're gifted. Why are you mad at people because they're gifted? When you gifted too. You gifted too. God put gifts in everybody. We all gifted. So why would you sit there and hate on your sister or hate on your brother or get mad at these folks because they're guilty? A lot of these folks sit around, baby, they be so mad because you letting God use you. They'll be so mad because you making moves because you ain't playing. And they just don't know if they submit their life to God and they change their mindset and they get rid of all that negative, evil, unforgiveness out their heart. God will use them the same way. God will probably use them more than he using you. Y'all know I'm telling the truth. God will use them more than he uses you. God will take them folks and elevate them folks so fast. Them folks, baby, what you were doing, them folks will be doing way more than what you're doing. But see, they won't, they'll never get there because they too, they can't get past that unforgiveness. When you forgive people and, and you let it go, when you, when you forgive people, you free yourself. And that's when the doors start flying open. Let me tell y'all something. I had to forgive folks that ain't never asked me for their forgiveness. For my forgiveness. I had to forgive folks that never said I'm sorry. And and they know they were wrong. Do you hear me? They know they wrong. They know they ain't have no business doing what they did to me. They know they were wrong. But they never told me I'm sorry. They never told me I forgive you. I had to forgive these people. Because you know what? It's a lot of people that I did wrong along the way. Oh yeah. They ain't going to tell y'all this now. Because they say sanctified and filled with the Holy Ghost. And they have been like that since they came out their mother's womb. But I'm going to tell y'all the real. I'm going to tell y'all the real stuff. It's a lot of people. It's a lot of underhanded things that I did in my past. It's a lot of things that I did to people. And I never got a chance to ask them people for their forgiveness. Or I never got a chance to, to get for, to ask to go to them and make it right. You know what I'm saying? To, 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 to voice it and speak it to them. But if they wanted to grow, they, they couldn't let that stop them. They had to go ahead and forgive me anyway and move forward. 
So I had to return the favor. Oh yeah, when it came down to me, I had to return the favor. And I had to tell God, okay, this person did me wrong and they ain't never asked me for forgiveness. But you know what? I recognize that it's a lot of folks I done did wrong too. And I ain't never go make it right with them people. I ain't never go ask for forgiveness with them people. So I'm going to forgive these folks. Even though they ain't never asked me for their forgiveness, they ain't never tell me they were sorry. I'm going to forgive these folks because you know what? I know what my purpose is and I know where I'm going. See, when you know where you're going, you will not let unforgiveness stop you. Oh, God. Let me tell y'all something. I see so many people that are so gifted. So many people that are so gifted. But you know what? After that, I see, I see, I see them operating from a place of brokenness. I see them operating from a place of loneliness. I see them operating from a place of, of evil, of wicked. I see them trying to do underhanded things to people. I see them hating on people that, that seem like these people got there faster than they got there. Or they got, I see them doing stuff like that. And then what I, the next thing, the next thing I say is my Lord, my Lord. Cause you know what? It don't matter how gifted you is. If your heart ain't right, you ain't going nowhere. You're going to stay in that same small town. You're going to keep, you're going to keep making them same local connects. They don't want to hear this. They don't want to hear this, but I'm telling y'all some real stuff. I don't care how gifted you are. I don't care how you can slay them in the spirit. I don't care how eloquent you are. I don't care how well you can speak. I don't care how well you pronounce your E's and your R's. I don't care what you got going on. Okay? I don't care what you got going on. You're not going to be, until you forgive, you're going to stay stuck right there. You're going to stay stuck right there. You only going to, you'll make a few moves, but guess what? God ain't in it. God ain't in it. Because God looking at your heart and God know you still got all that smut in your heart and God can't bless you. So God take your hand off you. God, God be like, all right, you got it. You got it. And God let you go. And see, you thinking what you doing, you think these little moves that you making is God. But that ain't God because God don't, come on now, that's what you doing from out of your own hand. That's what you doing. That's you, you making, you, because see now, you were made in the image and the likeness of God. So you got a little power. You can do a little something. But except God be with you, baby. Now, with God, all things are possible, baby. Y'all put that in the comments. Say, with God, all things are possible. See, with you, you can you can make a you can make a few little moves. You can you can move and shake a little bit. You can do a little something with these two hands. Cause you you got a little power. But somebody said all power. But come on now. All power is in the hands of God, baby. Jesus got all power. If you want to get all things, you got to link up with Jesus. You got to get, Jesus said, I am the way. Come on now, I'm the truth and the life. No man, no man get to my father except he come through me. You got to get God, baby. You got to get Jesus. He the only way. He the only way. With God, all things are possible. He is the way. He is the truth. He is the light. With him, all things are possible. You can't get there. He said, if you try to get it any other way, what he say? You a thief. You are a thief and you a robber. In other words, Jesus trying to tell you how dare you try to get what my father got for you. And you still got all that evil in your heart. You ain't forgave these folks. He said, how dare you try to think you're going to be successful or think you're going to be rich or think you're going to be healed. He said, you, if you try to get it any other way, you a thief and you a robber. You got to get it. You got to get it the right way. I'm telling y'all. Forgiveness is a part of it's a part of life and it's a part of the process. It's a part of the process. I'm talking to everybody, but I'm specifically talking to my queens. I'm specifically talking to my women. Who in your past have you not forgiven? Because I'm telling y'all, women the biggest with this. Men, men, men more quicker to just let bygones be bygones. Men be like, uh, all right, man, you know, I'm through with it. I ain't even gonna worry about it. But a woman. Y'all know I'm telling the truth. A woman gonna hold on to that. Ooh, she, I just can't let go of what she did to me. I just can't forgive. I just, that thing just hurt me so bad. They did me so wrong. They just, ooh, I just can't stand her. I just don't like her. I don't care what she do. I don't care. I don't care if she tried to give me the shirt off her bike. I don't care if she give me the wig off her head. I just can't stand her. Look at her. I just can't stand her. Now, you think God finna bless you and you got all that stinking stuff in your spirit. That stuff stinks. When you come trying to pray to God and you come trying to give worship to God, you trying to wave your hand and pray to God, God be like, you don't get that stuff out my face. God said, I don't want that. I don't want that. He said, that stink. He said, it spiritually stinks. 
And he said, when you have unforgiveness in your heart towards your sister and towards your brother, and you come trying to give me something, God said, keep that stuff. He said, I don't even want it. He said, I don't want your tithes. I don't want your offer. I don't want nothing. God said, you, you, you do pay them. You just paying it. And you, yes, Brenda, the wig. <laughs> Some of these women, they hate you so bad, baby. You can give them the wig off your head. Just take your wig off and say, you know, baby. And they say, I just don't like her. I don't care what she do. I just don't like her. And you walk around with a ball cap on. <laughs> you walk around with a ball cap on. They gave you for your wig and they still can't stand you. They still hate your guts. <laughs> you know why, baby? Because it ain't got nothing to do with you. Them folks got to go do that work on themselves. They got to go forgive. They got to work on themselves. They got to get rid of that unforgiveness, baby. Cause they gotta understand that they not gonna get they gonna they not gonna get nowhere. That's right, Sharika. Them prayers ain't gonna get past the ceiling. That worship ain't gonna make it out of their driveway, baby. That thing that that stuff ain't going nowhere. It going straight down to the grind. It ain't going nowhere. But I'm gonna tell y'all some real stuff. I ain't telling y'all what I Google and what I looked up. I'm telling y'all what I know. I'm gonna get ready to let y'all go. I gotta go. But I'm tell I'm telling y'all what I know. I'm telling you what I know. When I forgave, okay. I ain't talking about nobody else. I'm talking about me. <laughs> I'm talking about me. When I forgave folks, the people that didn't even ask me for forgiveness, when I went in my past and I sat down, and let me tell y'all what I did. I did a whole forgiveness meditation. I closed my eyes and I imagined these folks were sitting right there in front of me. Every single woman, every single man, every single person that had ever did anything to me. I sat down and I imagined these folks were sitting in front of me. And I had a conversation in my mind, in my spirit with these folks. And I told them that I loved them and I told them that I forgive them. Let me tell y'all something. Even your exes, yeah, even your ex-wives your ex-husbands you got to forgive these folks if you want to go to the next level of your life if you want to be successful if you want to be great in god if you want that abundant life that jesus promised you you got to forgive these folks i don't care what they did i know they were wrong i know you did everything you could do and and, and, it, and you got the short end of the stick but you got to forgive you got to forgive if you don't you're gonna be stuck for the rest of your life you're going to be standing up there at the dollar store 20 years from now telling everybody about the narcissist, telling everybody about your ex-husband, telling some folks that's their whole story. Everywhere they go, they telling folks they still talking about their ex-husband. They still talking about their ex-wife. They still talking that's You stuck, baby. You stuck. You got to forgive. When you forgive, the door is going to fly open for you. You ain't got to see. Now you trying to beat the door down. You trying to beat the door down. You trying to tear the hinges off the door and get in the room. You can't get nothing. Everything locked up. You know why it locked up? Because your heart ain't right. I'm telling y'all some real stuff. It locked up because your heart ain't right. When you when you forgive, you ain't got to try to, oh, you ain't even got to try to turn the door no baby. All you got to do is walk up. Y'all know how them automatic doors, when you step on the road, the automatic door just shoot. That's the way it is in the spirit. I just felt something break. Glory be to God. Y'all sensitive to the spirit. Y'all felt that. Because I just felt something break when I said that. God gave me that revelation. God said, when you forgive, it's just like you go in the store. And all y'all know all you got to do, you ain't got to lift a finger. You ain't got to reach your hand out. You ain't got to turn nothing. You ain't got to do nothing. All you got to do is step on that road. And what that door do? It fly open. And you walk right on through. And God said, that's the way it's going to be with your destiny. That's the way it's going to be with your purpose when you forgive. The people that hurt you. And it's the people that you cannot stand. You don't like them. You don't like them. But you got to forgive them. Do you hear me? And you got to love them. Now, do that mean you got to be uh, you got to be all in their hand and, and, and they all in your hand and they all in your house and you all at their house and y'all sitting down having tea and, and having lattes together. Y'all going out getting y'all nails and y'all feet done. No. You ain't got to. You ain't never got to say another word to them. <laughs> You ain't never got to say another word to them, but you got to forgive them. You got to forgive them. You got to love them and you got to pray for them. Do what you can for folks, but you know, come on, use your spirit of discernment. You know now, you know, if these folks done milked you dry, you know, you can't just be giving these folks stuff because you know what they buy. You know what they buy. You got to use your spirit of discernment. See, I'm telling you something else too. Folks think just because you say, they think because you a Christian, they can use you. They think they can use you. Oh, you, oh, she saved. I'm saved, but I ain't crazy. Come on now. That y'all tell them that. Say, yeah, I'm saved, but I ain't crazy. I ain't finna sit here and let you rob me. 
I ain't, come on now. I ain't finna sit here and let you use me. I ain't finna sit here and let you uh betray me and walk all over me and walk on me. You think I'm finna lay down on the floor like a doormat and just let you step all over me and rub your feet off on me and everything because I said I know God. I'm telling y'all some real stuff. People think, that's a, you see, I'm gonna tell you, you gotta be careful. That's why you don't need to be going everywhere telling folks you a child of God. Don't be going everywhere telling folks I'm saved. God, don't play by me. You better watch what you say to me. Watch what you do to me because I'm a child of God. God said, touch not my anointed. Do my prophet no harm. All the type of stuff. Y'all know what we say. You ain't got to tell these folks who you are. Just live the life. Just live the life. Keep living the life. You ain't got to tell nobody who you is. And just know that whatever they did to you, it going to come back on them. They going to get their portion. But see, you, you can't worry about that. You can't worry about that. You forgive them and you move on and you let it go. That's right, Sharika. Just live it. Just live the life. When you live the life, they going to know who you is. They gonna know who you is. And I'm gonna tell y'all, a lot of y'all going through a transformation now. A lot of y'all making some changes now. And you kind of scared to come out because you feel like people gonna attack your character. People gonna say, oh, you ain't chained. Oh, you holy now. Oh, you say now. Oh, you this, you that. You know what I'm saying? Because people will start trying to, the, the church done been messed up for so long. The church building done been messed up for so long. They done made a mockery out of God. They done, made, they done made a mockery out of Christianity, out of religion. So now when you tell people that you saved or you a Christian or you holy, people make fun of you. They make fun of you because these folks in the church, they done, fought, they done fell so low. But y'all know I gave y'all that prophetic word and I told y'all that some that it was going to be some, some uh, epic fall with the spiritual leaders. That these people that are in leadership were getting ready to fall. Let me tell y'all something. God's word is fulfilling itself. That prophecy that God gave me is fulfilling itself. Y'all see what's happening with the churches. Y'all see what's happening with these pastors and these prophets. Come on now. And they didn't just become a murderer. That murderer spirit was already in them. God exposing it. Everything being exposed in this season. Everything coming out in this season. So if you're not right, you got to get right. Because when you repent of your sins and you forgive people, my light kind of going out a little bit. But when you forgive people and you repent of your sins, I might have to turn my other light on. God will, God will spare you. He won't expose you. But the only time God come in and expose you is when you do not, when you, um, I might have to turn my light on. The only time God come in and expose you is when you don't repent. If you don't repent, if you don't never forgive these people and you keep doing the same old thing, come on now. That's when God come in and pull the cover back on you. That's when God come in and show all these folks what you really about. And so these folks that be shaking and faking, y'all know them. Y'all know what they do when ain't nobody watching them. These folks that be shaking and faking, don't even worry about them. Don't even worry about them because God said if they don't repent, God said if I ain't made it around to your door, he said you better repent. You better repent because God said if you don't, he said I'm going to expose you. I am going to expose you. Something is going to happen where what you've been doing in the dark going to come to the light and God going to expose you. God going to expose you. But y'all forgive these people. I'm finna let y'all go. But y'all forgive forgive and let go so, so God can open up these doors. Y'all know these doors been closed for a long time. You, you, you've been trying to, you might have been trying to get a certain job or you've been trying to get into a certain career. And it just seemed like you just can't never get that job. You just can't never get that get that career started. You can't never go back to school. You just can't never, you know what? Go in your past and figure out who you need to forgive. Go in your past and figure out who you need to forgive. That's why if some if something is locked up in your life, if you ain't been able to get a yes, is go and search your heart and see what's in your heart that ain't supposed to be there. And when you get rid of that stuff that's still in your heart, that evil, that unforgiveness, when you get rid of that, watch how these doors start flying open for you. They're going to start flying open. Yeah. I'm going to tell y'all, when I started forgiving folks, God started giving me so much revelation, baby. I, I thought I couldn't I thought I thought couldn't run no business. I thought I couldn't have no website and maintain a website and have clientele and and and, and run a mentorship program and all that stuff. Baby, when I let, let go all that past hurt and I told God, 
God, everybody that ever hurt me, I told God, God, I put these folks in your hand. I said, God, bless these folks. I don't wish them no harm. I said, God, bless them. You know what? Even even to, to my women, you went through situations where your parent went down, whether it was your mama went down, your daddy went down. They miss, they they uh, abused you or they left you. They didn't take care of you. They put you off on other folks. Forgive these folks. For, I'm telling you, you ain't went to your next level because you still holding on to that pain. You still holding on to that hurt. You got to forgive them. Forgive them, baby. Forgive these folks. Because I'm telling y'all some real stuff. When you when you forgive, you, you clean yourself out. You clean yourself out. And God, God can come in and fill you up with him. But God can't fill you up with him if you still feel with unforgiveness. Get rid of it today. You, let me tell you something. A lot of y'all done started businesses. A lot of my queens, a lot of my women, y'all done started businesses. But let me tell you something. You, I know you got a lot of plans for your business. I know you got a lot of plans for your future. But if you ain't forgave, if you ain't winning your past and truly forgave these folks, and I'm going to tell y'all, sometimes God will lead you, the spirit of the Lord will lead you to reach out to people. Sometimes you just can't, sometimes you can't just, Forgive them spiritually and let it go. Sometimes, y'all know I'm telling the truth. Sometimes the spirit of the Lord will lead you to call that woman or to call that man and personally apologize to them. And that's what I hear the spirit of the Lord say. He said, for a lot of y'all, I'm telling you and I've been telling you a long time to make it right with these folks. Make it right with these folks. Call these folks. If, if the spirit of the Lord is, is unctioning you to do that, call these folks and make it right. Make it right with that man. I'm talking to my men too. Make it right with that woman. Do whatever you need to do to make it right. And then watch how God take you. God going to catapult you. Baby, that thing take off so quick. Let me tell you something. You will figure out what you been doing ain't been nothing. When God get in it, baby, God take you. That thing take off so fast. You be like, oh my goodness. I should have been forgave. Yeah. That's when the door fly open. When you let it go. Let it go. Okay, your daddy went down. Okay, you was molested. You was raped. Your daddy went down. He didn't protect you. He didn't, he didn't watch over you like he was supposed to. He didn't have them conversations with you. Well, guess what? You got to forgive him. You got to forgive him. Yeah, you got to. Because if you don't, that contamination is going to ruin every one of your relationships. You ain't never going to be happy with a man. You ain't never going to be happy with your children. You ain't never going to be happy until you forgive that man. You got to forgive him. Some of you are going to have to forgive your rapist. Yeah. Yeah. Some of you are going to have to forgive your rapist. You're going to have to forgive your abuser. You're going to have to forgive these people. Because God forgave you. He forgave you. So you got to forgive. I know it hurt. I know it hurt. And some of us, we hoard. Some people hoard their pain. They, they get so comfortable with their pain, they feel funny if they try to let it go. Because that pain have been with them so long, it feel like, it just feel familiar. It feel like what's right. But I'm telling y'all, it's not what's right. Your spirit was not meant to hold all that pain. Let it go. Let it go. Not for them. It ain't got nothing to do with them. Forget them. Forget these folks. You doing it for you. You doing it for you. You doing it so you can succeed. You doing it so you can prosper. You doing it so you can leave a legacy for your children. You want unforgiveness to be your legacy. Because if you don't forgive today, that's what's going to be your legacy. When you pass on and you transition and you leave up out of here, that's what you're going to leave to your children. You're going to leave bitterness, unforgiveness, pain. That's what you're going to leave to your children. I don't know about y'all, but I'm not leaving that to my children. I'm not leaving that to them. I teach them to forgive people, to let it go. I teach them to forgive. And you know what? As far as a parent, I'm going to tell y'all something else to my women, to those of you that are mothers, you raising your children by yourself. Don't never talk your children against their daddy. Don't do that. Don't do that. I don't care what he did. I don't care what he did. Don't talk them against their daddy. And to my men, don't talk your children against their mama. You don't do that. You don't do that. If that person is an evil person, if they wicked, you let that child see that on their own. And, and what you do is you pray and ask God to allow you to, to be the one to be there to pick up the pieces of your child's broken heart when that man do break their heart or when that woman do break their heart. Because, see, you an adult, you know, you know they ain't no good. You know they ain't no good. And you know that it, you know that it, that they're going to do the same thing to your child's heart that they did to your heart. You know they ain't no good. 
But that's not your place to tell that child that. You don't tell them that. You, you plant bitterness and unforgiveness in your child heart. Don't you tell them that. Let me tell you something. I don't care what, I don't care what go on. I'm not talking mine against their daddy. I'm not talking mine against nobody. I'm not talking, I'm not, I'm not finna talk them against it. I learned a lesson with that. I learned a lesson with that. Cause a lot of, uh, you could be talking against somebody and then you don't, you life is so short. I'm going to tell y'all, God showed me some stuff just with the passing of my dog that, that nobody is yours. Nobody belongs to you. These, these people can be gone at any point in time. And that taught me something to watch what come out of my mouth and watch what I speak and watch what I say to my children and watch what I say to myself. Because at any point in time, that person you speaking on could be gone. They could be gone. And I'm going to tell y'all that that also taught me that love people and do good by people because you want your memories with that person to be sweet you don't want to be thinking about how you cuss that person out i'm telling y'all some real stuff you don't want to be thinking about how you had to get them a piece of your mind how you bleached their clothes how you slashed their tire and then when you look at that person going down in that grave six feet under that don't feel good because you left with them memories forever you left with that stuff forever and you done talk down on them folk you done talk bad on them folk and that stuff gonna haunt you for the rest of your life it going to haunt you for the rest of your life. That's why you got to make it right now. I know we done said stuff that we regretted. We done said stuff that we ain't wanted, that we regretted. We, we shouldn't have said it. But you still living. You got a chance to make it right. Everybody that's on this live right now, everybody that's going to watch it on the replay, you got to make it right now. Make it right. Y'all put that in the comments. Say, I'm making it right today. I'm making it right. And if you say you ain't never said nothing, you regret it saying the devil is a lie. The devil is a lie, cause that tongue is unruly, baby. That tongue is a little pink tornado, and life and death is in it. You better be careful what you speak from it. But I love y'all. I love y'all so much. I'm finna get ready to go. I love y'all. Y'all, let me tell y'all, I'm so excited. My YouTube channel just reached 1,000 subscribers, so I'm gonna be doing a giveaway. I'm gonna be doing like a special, a video special. Listen, I want y'all to start sending me y'all questions. Start sending me y'all questions, y'all, because I'm going to start doing videos. I'm going to start doing videos on my YouTube channel answering y'all questions. Now, when I answer the questions, the questions are going to be answered anonymously. I will not say your name. I will not say anything about you, okay? But I want to answer the questions on a video because other people may have the same question that you have. Other people may be going through the same thing that you're going through. So when I give an answer, I don't want to just see when I'm in a coaching session and I'm talking to a client one on one and I and I may give advice or give answers or just anything. It ain't nobody but me and them. It's just me and them and then whoever they go tell. But see, when I do a video, everybody see it. OK, when I do that video, it going. out. thank y'all so much. I'm so happy, y'all. <laughs> I'm so happy. That's 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 a really big milestone for me. That's a re that's really big. And I and. I'm just so happy. I'm just soaking it all in. And, 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 it, and it actually hit today. So I was like, man, I hit 1,000 subscribers today. So that was really, really big. But, um, yeah, when I do the video, it's going out to thousands of people. So you send in a question, and I answer your question, and I'm helping you, and I can help thousands of other people too. So, how amazing is that? That I I can help you and help thousands of other people that's dealing with the same thing you're dealing with. So y'all send in your questions. When I say your questions, I mean everything that I coach on. I coach on purpose, how to find your purpose, how to identify your gifts. I coach singles. I Because single is a ministry. The Lord has called me to speak to the singles, the single women in this season. So all my single women, y'all send in questions about how to live single, live happy for God. Uh, living your purpose. Uh, I coach divorce w women, women that have gone through a divorce. So you may have questions about a divorce. You can send that in. Oh, let me tell y'all how to send them in. <laughs> I want you to email me, email me at Latoya Stapleton six at gmail.com. I'm going to put that on my Facebook page. So email your questions in y'all send them, send them in through email Latoya Stapleton six at gmail.com. And I'm going to start um, doing videos. I'm going to start doing videos. <laughs> I'm going to start doing videos to answer y'all's questions, okay? And, and if I select your question to do a video on it, I'm going to respond back to you and let you know. 
that your question has been selected for a video so and i'm gonna give you the dates that when i when i'm gonna possibly be doing the video so you can make sure you tune in to get your answer okay but i love y'all so much y'all forgive 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 that's the word for today forgive <laughs> let it go forgive move on and then look how much more happier you be when you forgive you have a glow you know when you got when you holding on to all that bitterness and that unforgiveness you I can't even do it. <laughs> I can't even do it. But I know people used to tell me all the time. They like, you be looking mean all the time. Why you be looking so mean? And then some people, they be like, I wanted to say something to you. I wanted to approach you, but you look, you were looking like you were going to bite my head off. <laughs> you were looking like you were just going to chew me up and spit me out. And I just hear that everyone. Why are you looking so mean? And then I smile. They see you got a pretty smile. Why are you looking so mean? They ain't know, baby. I had, I had Lucifer, Satan, his minions. I, and all that stuff was in me just running rapid in my spirit. Do you hear me? That stuff was just running rapid in me, baby. I was a storehouse for the devil. <laughs> he didn't need hell because he had a storehouse in me. And I had all his devils, all his demons piped in me, baby. I had legion. I felt like the man said, my name is legion for there are many. Yeah, I had many. I had legions. Yeah. Yeah. And so when God freed me and God transformed me, God changed my life, baby. And then do I go through stuff? Yes, I do. I do go through stuff. I cry. I hurt. I be in pain. But I always come back to my purpose. The purpose will always keep you on track. Whenever you lost, just come to the purpose. Just come to the purpose. Whenever you sick, whenever you don't feel good, whenever you're not motivated, just come back to the purpose. Because I'm telling y'all, everything you need, God put it in your purpose. That's what my smile was. I tried to do everything else, y'all. I tried to work for everybody. I tried to do everything. You can't name a job that I ain't had. I don't work everywhere. Do you hear me? I don't work everywhere. And nothing gave me the fulfillment that I have now. Nothing. I'm happy. I, I, that's priceless. For you to be able to say that you happy, that's priceless. That's price. You can't put no price tag on that. That's priceless. So always come back to your purpose. Come back to your purpose. Because that's where your happiness is. That's where, that's, where, that's, where, that's where your joy is. That's where your peace is. It's in your purpose. It's in your purpose. God knew that too. That's why that was the first thing he gave man. Before he gave man a, a woman or a companion, he gave man purpose. He gave him purpose first. So the purpose should always be first. Because if you're not in your purpose, you're not going to be good for no companion anyway. You're not going to be worth nothing for your husband anyway. You're not going to be worth nothing for your wife anyway. You got to have purpose first. Once you got that, you, you feel driven. You feel motivated. You feel invigorated. It energizes you. It keep you going. Now, you're going to get tired sometime, but you'll keep going. You, you'll find strength in it. So, I love y'all so much. Y'all, don't forget to send in your questions to LatoyaStapleton6 at gmail.com, okay? I'm going to do like a... Y'all finna start seeing different videos. The Lord is calling me to do different things in this season. So, I'm going to be spicing it up. Y'all going to be getting some different kind of content from me. I'm going to be filming at some different locations. I'm going to be doing all kind of stuff on the youtube channel and i'm gonna be uploading videos on the youtube channel every day every day so you got to make sure you subscribe so you get your notifications and i'm also going to be doing lives on my youtube channel more too so yeah y'all come 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 get with me uh oh come subscribe if you hadn't already subscribed and tell a friend to tell a friend <laughs> so i love y'all y'all know what i always tell y'all if you can see it in your mind you can hold it in your hand with God, all things are possible. I almost forgot, y'all. Remember, the singles masterclass is tonight. So if you have not booked your seat in the masterclass tonight, book your seat, book your seat, book your seat. It's only $5, $5. Y'all know what we say. I got five on it. <laughs> I got five on it. Come on now, you're going to spend $5 on you a bag of lunch today. You're going to spend more than $5 on your bag of lunch. You're going to spend about $15. Y'all know this food is expensive. <laughs> so you pay, pay $5 and, and get you an hour or more worth of value. We have Q&A. 
we have uh testimonials we and we be on zoom and we just have a really good time it's it's for singles but any woman is able to is welcome to join us so go to my website latoyaokeaministries.com go to the book of, go to the book of session tab and click on living single it's called living single okay and click living single and sign up for your seat in the master class tonight it's only five dollars so i'll see y'all later y'all be blessed